Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at the Al Wadi Palace today the Information Affairs Minister, Mr. Ali bin Mohammed Al Ramihi, in the presence of the organizing committee of the second edition of the Seen Gym Quiz Show, organized by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad media office in cooperation with the Information Affairs Ministry. The quiz show is among His Highness Sheikh Khalid's initiatives aimed at supporting cultural, social and humanitarian fields. His Highness lauded the great interaction of Bahraini families participating in the second edition of the Sinjim quiz show, noting that the program is in line with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision on the need to support various areas of life, especially social, cultural and humanitarian ones, so as to promote the values of cohesion among members of the Bahraini society. His Highness Sheikh Khaled highly valued His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's distinguished leadership of Team Bahrain's successes and achievements across various fields, as well as interest in encouraging national programs and projects aimed at enhancing the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the tremendous efforts exerted by His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in support of youth in all fields through His Highness's numerous plans and strategies aimed at enabling Bahraini youth to acquire more knowledge and expertise. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed his constant keenness to launch value-added initiatives that motivate various segments to interact, acquire knowledge and compete fairly, as well as strengthen social relations and cement the principles of loyalty to the nation and its leadership. His Highness praised the major role played by the Information Affairs Ministry and Minister Mr. Ali al to support His Highness's initiatives and ensure the success of the Seen Gene Quiz Show, paying tribute to the organizing committee for the distinguished preparations for the second edition. It is to be noted that the final episode of the second edition was won by the Boomhammed family team, while the team of Buraid family came second. The winners received US $70,000, while the runners-up received $30,000. Arumehi underlined the Information Affairs Ministry's keenness to be a major partner in supporting His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad's distinguished initiatives out of its belief in their importance as they target various segments and fields and reflect His Highness's interest in translating His Majesty the King's directives to support society and various sectors in on the ground. He expressed the Information Affairs Ministry's pride in having harnessed all its potentials to support the second edition of the Scene Gene Quiz Show in order to meet the aspirations of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for the success of the distinguished show. Three concepts have won the fourth edition of the Government Innovation Competition, Fikra, launched by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The winning concepts were selected by a committee of government ministers in combination with a public vote. The ministerial committee selected Hawiyati application presented by Muhammad Abdul Rahman Al Ansari and Sayyid Ahmed Hamid Ahmed from the King Hamad University Hospital. Green by Gray, presented by Hamad Badu from the Minister of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning. Nismaak, We Hear You, presented by Muhannad Al Naimi from the Ministry of Information Affairs, won the public vote. The committee commended the winning concepts aimed to improve the quality and efficiency of the government services provided to citizens and residents. The committee noted that the concepts will be shared at the government's executive committee meeting, chaired by His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The committee commended the participants' efforts, noting that all 12 concepts that reached the final stages were of a high standard. The ministerial committee, comprised of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, the Minister of Health, Faika bin Said Al Saleh, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziyani, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'el bin Nasser Al Mubarak, the winning ideas were selected following a comprehensive evaluation process. Fikra supports a culture of creativity and innovation by empowering the public sector employees to put forward ideas and proposals that meet the kingdom's aspirations to increase the efficiency of government services in accordance with the principles of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 
and the 2019-2022 government program. The Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, toured a number of development and service projects in Muharraq Governorate. During his tour, Engineer Khalaf said that the Ministry is working within its strategy to implement a number of service projects which contribute to the development of the infrastructure and the provision of high quality services in order to meet the needs of citizens and residents. He also pointed out that the Ministry is working on implementing a number of development projects in Muharraq Governorate, including a project to rehabilitate some roads in Complex 225 in the Basitin area, noting that the project aims to rehabilitate the roads in the residential complex and pave the roads with asphalt to raise the level of road efficiency and improve safer traffic. The Minister stressed that the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning is keen to implement projects aimed at achieving sustainable growth for infrastructure according to the highest standards and specifications in cooperation and coordination with various government agencies. The President of the Inter-Parliamentary Union, Duarte Pachico, praised the pioneering and distinguished achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields, especially the democratic field and the human rights field, in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. Mr. Pachico described the vision and wisdom of His Majesty the King, made the Kingdom of Bahrain an honorable model in work and achievement, will and ambition, and as a nation, working according to a piercing vision towards achieving high national goals, keeping pace with the global development and witnessing a comprehensive progress. He hailed his efforts to develop this international institution and enhance cooperation with parliaments and national assemblies. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,200,000 2,849 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,177,631 had taken the second, and 841,076 took the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,796 with 108 recoveries, 530 registered new cases and no deaths. 159 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 289 are contacts of active cases and 82 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.